the pre-formatted block basically is a lot similar with the paragraph block or a code block or you can say it's a combination of both but uh, where it is needed it is needed when you want to present some text where you want to uh, retain the spaces you add in the text or the extra enters you add and text basically it's, it's about spaces so as you can see it i have a math formula kind of math formula here uh, which i copied from a website which is for area anyway so uh, suppose i want to uh, present such formula uh, on my website in a post so the best bet is to go with the pre-formatted block for that purpose because here whatever spaces you add uh, it keeps that as it is on the front end uh, as compared to the paragraph the above one is a paragraph where i created try to create a kind of similar by creating shift enter hitting the shift enter to remain in the same paragraph block so these are two blocks anyway a paragraph block and a pre-formatted block so the results uh, you can see on the front end uh, in the editor for the paragraph block you see that I've added some spaces here but the paragraph block actually uh, only keep one space uh, and not multiple spaces altogether so for this uh, case where I've added multiple spaces uh, the paragraph block will ignore this and makes the line sit to the on the left as you can see here but in the pre-formatted it retains all these spaces so this is the difference between the paragraph block and the pre-formatted block mainly so let's see how to add it and how we can use it you can add the pre-formatted block uh, like any other block by either clicking on the plus icon on the top and search for pre-formatted block and click on this and there we have it or you can sorry i need to remove it so you can or uh either way is by clicking typing a forward slash and type preformatted it gives you a suggestion and here it is just click on this and you can add it now let's see what options we have for the preformatted block the first two options are standard for all the blocks uh, the first one is allows you to transform this to another block type and we have two options here we can either transform it to paragraph or code block so i if i click on the code block it shows me this like this and if i save it and preview on the front end so basically it's also a bit similar so you can also uh, use code block for this purpose but maybe there are different purposes you can use the preformatted as well so this is what the first option does the second option is to move the block up down or you can also drag and drop the block to another position like this then we have some formatting options similar to uh, similar to the paragraph block you can bold italic or even link it to um, some of your internal pages or external and then we have similar options as the paragraph block which I have covered in and the video so uh, this is what we have for the preformatted block and the block toolbar and in the sidebar we have nothing so there's not much else so use this block where you need to present some content or uh, data where you need to preserve the spaces like this if i add more spaces it preserves it on the front end like this as you can see but it won't be possible with the paragraph block so this is where we pre-formatted block comes handy i hope i have covered everything for this blog and feel free to ask any questions in the comment thanks for watching take care